The winter season of the WisconsinPrepZone.com Game of the Week kicks off Saturday night with a rematch of a girls' basketball sectional game from last season. Middleton hosting Madison East. It's the Pergolers who get going right from the opening tip. Mikayla Dyer sends a long feed to Alicia Justice. That's about as good as it gets for the Pergolders, though, as Middleton then takes over. Shannon McCauley answers with a quick three. Kirsten Gunderson finds the net from just about the same spot on the floor. And here's Gunderson again from long range, putting the Cardinals up 17-2. Gunderson puts back the rebound, and the Cardinals end the first on a 22-0 run. Coming off of the loss on Wednesday after losing to Parker, we all knew that we had to come out strong and that we knew what we had to get done. So we just were all pumped up before the game and had to come out strong. Well, you know, inexperience is, is really going to set in when you got four sophomores and a senior out there on the floor. I mean, obviously Middleton is a tough team. They've been in the conference, uh, they've been winning the conference for the last few years. Actually, I think they made a trip up to state. It's tough, you know. Um, I thought we were prepared, but obviously we got a lot bit more work to do. The second quarter starts with more of the Cardinals' big run. Mika Passini drives and dishes to Gunderson, who gets the basket and the foul. East defense finally leads to some points. Dyer gets the steal and takes it all the way. Justice forces the turnover here and feeds Dyer inside for two more. Here's Dyer leading Justice up court. The layup misses, but Dyer gets the follow and the foul. The Pergolder's full court press gets the job done again, with Dyer getting the steal and score to make it 36-19 Cardinals at the break. We did uh, turn the ball over. We were a little bit soft with the ball sometimes, and that's a little bit of our inexperience that, that uh, some of the girls are... You know, afraid to really square up and, and face up face up with people, but uh, we'll, we'll get there, we're learning. Middleton starts to find his way out of that press in the second half. Watch here as all five Cardinals players on the court touch the ball, with Pacini hitting an open Liz McMahon in the paint for two. East Stevie Rice works inside and gets the hook to go off the glass. More quick ball movement from the Cardinals leaves McMahon open down low again. Cardinals stretch the width of the court, and Natalie Staples hits from three. After three, it's 52-26 Middleton. Middleton's Gunderson and East Dyer both add to their point totals in the fourth. Here's Gunderson hitting a three ball from the corner. Dyer drives and gets tripped, but still manages to get the basket and the foul. The Cardinals push the ball up court, and Passini hits Staples for two more of her 12 points. Here's Dyer at the line late in the game, and the Wisconsin recruit gets the last of her game high 33 points. Um, it's one of my um, higher scoring games, but um, we just uh, have. I was trying to do everything I could to get a uh, to get a win, but uh, it just the ball didn't roll our way tonight. Hey, she can be unbelievable at times, and if she really works on attacking that basket, she can be one outstanding basketball player. She already is, but we're just looking for her to get even better and better. Dyer leads in points, but Middleton comes away with a 70-42 victory behind Gunderson's 25 points. Probably the most points I've had in a game, which is good, but it wouldn't have been able to do it without the rest of my team and Madeline and Mika in specific. And I don't know, everyone has their hot games. Well, I think our three seniors, uh, Pacini and Gunderson and, and Staples, that uh, have been here for three years now, and I mean they're they're showing a little bit of the composure and leadership that they need to. So I think all three of those are are, are pretty solid players, and, and we look for them for their, you know to be our steadying force out on the floor.